Hello everyone. Welcome to Code to Enhance Learning. Let's start with lesson Colorful Shapes of Course 1. As we know, the shapes are everywhere around us. It could be the rectangle shape of the board, triangle in a samosa, or square shape of the notebook. It's very important to identify these shapes as it would help in communicating about the shapes of things around us and using the shapes to create something useful. However, students in classrooms get limited ways to identify and learn the shapes. It would have been amazing if students could get more opportunities to learn the shapes in fun and exciting ways. Would you like to give this opportunity to other students to learn shapes in fun way? What do you think we can do? The main objective of this lesson is to create an application to make different geometrical shapes. Before starting, let's see a preview. When I press one of these keywords, what do you think? What will happen? Any idea? Okay, let's see. Let's press S. Here you can see a square is formed. Let's press R. A rectangle is formed. Okay, so like this, we can create any of these shapes by pressing corresponding keywords. Have you heard the word events? Okay, events is defined as one thing causing another thing to happen. For example, in daily routine, whenever we want to use the fan, we switch it on. Else, we switch it off. Can you tell me in past one week where have you seen events in real life? Discuss this with your partner. Can you guess what will happen on stage? Okay, in this lesson we will make different colorful shapes. The programming is to be done in such a way that we press S to draw a square, R to draw a rectangle, similarly T for triangle, P for parallelogram. Z for trapezium and O for circle. Here I am going to use offline version of Scratch for this lesson. Before starting, I want to ask you a question. What we will need on this stage? Okay, we need a backdrop and a sprite which will draw lines to make different colorful shapes. Let's start with a backdrop. Here you can see we have many options to select a backdrop. Let's select this one. Now we are going to delete the default sprite and edit the backdrop. We will select text icon so that we can write in the backdrop. We can change color also. Now we will start writing whatever we want in the backdrop. These are the text which we want in the backdrop. After completing backdrop, we are going to draw a sprite. This is the sprite which we will use in the program. So backdrop and events have been drawn. Let's move to the programming part. First of all, we are going to select an event. We will select this one. In this event, whenever we press one of these symbols, the code written below produces an output. Let's start with a square. We will choose S keyword so that whenever we press S, the code for a square executed and produces a square in the output. To draw a square, we will need a pen. So, first we are going to select pen color so that we can make shapes of different colors. Now, select pen down. It is used to draw a line. After this, we will select this block. It is used to move a sprite in a particular direction. We can edit a step also. Let's click on the code to see how it works. You can see here a green color line have been drawn now, for making a square, we need a turn of 90 degree. So, for it, we will use this block. 
Now, as I click on this block, we can see the turn. We again select this block to move it further in vertical direction, as you can see here. Now, select this block so that we can have a pause after each line drawn. Let's arrange every block so that we can see it works. You can see here the pause after each line. Now, we have to repeat these steps to make a complete square. Here you can see the code for drawing a square is done. Now, we want to see it's a square written for 2 seconds just after drawing a square. So, we will select this block. On the code, you can see the output. A square has been drawn with a text in it. Select pen up as we do not want to draw further. Like this, we have to write a code for other shapes also. So, for saving time, I have already written a code for other shapes which we have mentioned in the background. As you can see, this is the code for square. This is the code for rectangle, this is the code for triangle, this is the code for parallelogram, this is the code for trapezium and this is the code for circle. And this code is to clear the screen. Let's show you. Click on rectangle code. You can see rectangle has been drawn. Now, as to clear it, we will click on this code. Do you think the code shown in the image will run? Okay, let's see. So, I am going to press S to see what will going to happen. Here you can see, when I pressed S, the square is formed with a text written, it's a square. Similarly, we can make other shapes by pressing their corresponding keys. Let's do it. Press R to draw a rectangle. Press T to draw a triangle. Press C to draw a circle. Press P to draw a parallelogram and press T to draw a trapezium. So, this is the code for making various shapes using scratch programming. After this, I have a quiz for you. Read it carefully and discuss the answers with your partner or teacher. Now, I have some questions for you which you have to do by your own as an assignment. Before finishing it, I want you to discuss these questions with your partner. Thank you for watching.